All right, I am outside on my uh, Canon Vixia HF G50 with the Atomos Ninja Flame attached. I am shooting in ProRes 422, 1080p, 30 frames per second. I have a F4 with an ND of one quarter, 148th shutter. And let me turn let me turn I got gain and there we go. Let's turn that off. There we go. I had one decibel of gain on the there we go. I'm on the side of my house recording my dog eating grass. That I just cut. This is telling me I'm a little overexposed in the sky right now that I just panned over to. And it's telling me all that sky is, ex is, is um, exposed. And my zebra is set at 100%, so that means that that is fully, ex fully, um, that the, yeah, fully blown out. So. I'm on a tripod. Hey, Milo. I'm on a tripod. This is not gimbal footage. I'm just shooting on the tripod. But I am shooting both on the Atomos Ninja Flame and the uh, Canon G50. So I'll, I'll be able to bring them both into DaVinci Resolve and compare them side by side. Again, I'm shooting in ProRes 422. I'm going to step down um, and get another another shot in my yard, but this one um, I'm going to record in DNX HD. I'm probably going to go with one of the higher resolution settings in that codec. So uh, I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, I am now recording in DNX HD 220. On the uh, Atomos Ninja Flame, I am getting a 10-bit uh, 422 signal out of my Canon G50 going into the Atomos Flame. Just panning around, trying to see how this footage compares from the uh, G50 that I'm shooting at, and that's all blown out. Just to see how, to, how the footage compares uh, from the G50 to the um, uh, Atomos Ninja Flame. Again, this is the uh, DNX HD220 codec. See how that looks on the computer. I'm going to turn my uh, ND filter up a little bit. I'm, it's telling me I'm. If 
I was shooting for the sky, that's telling me that I'm not, I'm not blown out. This is at an F8 with my ND filter at one eighth, which is, I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna be recoverable or not. We'll see. I'm gonna bring it down now. So that tells me that the side of my building here is that is just about normal exposure if I was exposing for the side of the building. It's telling me uh, the, uh, the sky is still blown out, but if I was exposing for the building, it's telling me I'm good to go. I am presently at F4 ND 1 fourth, 148 shutter, 0 dB gain. This is the onboard ND filter on the Canon G50. So it pretty much controls uh, based on what I'm dialing in the, uh, the iris. So I have no control over that ND filter. It basically is what it is. I have no, I, th this cam camera doesn't allow me to adjust the ND filter. I would need to buy a variable ND filter that I put on the end of the camera. Again, this is DMX HD 220. I've zoomed in a little bit. adjustment All right, that's telling me that that is properly exposed and I still have detail in this tree here in the right side of the frame according to um, the waveform it's telling me it's not too dark that there is detail in it so um, it's hard for me to see that on the monitor but the 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 waveform is telling me that there is detail there. Um, it's telling me that it's properly exposed. A little bit of reflection on the windshield is telling me that's blown out, but other than that, it's telling me that the scene is properly exposed. Again, I'll find out when I get this into the computer to see if what I'm seeing on the on the monitors is in fact how it is again I, I just got this last uh, this week so I'm, I'm still learning um, 
how to how it operates with my gear. Hey Rex. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing, buddy? I'm about eight minutes into this DNX HD220 footage. I'm sure it's going to be rather, rather large file size. But I am capturing both the uh, Outermost Ninja Flame and G50 footage. So I'll be able to compare these side by side and see how they look. Um, I think I'm going to stop this and go back to ProRes. Just so I've got a final ProRes uh, sample. I want to make sure I have enough. Um, it is quarter after six here central time where I live so um, got about another hour of sunlight let's uh, make one more adjustment All right, we'll be right back alright ProRes HQ so this is comparable to um, the uh, DNX HD 220 I was just shooting I think I don't know I'm going off of the amount of recording time it tells me uh, DNX H H HD is uh, it's new to me um, I've never used it um, so I'm not sure how comparable it is to um, ProRes but I'm using the HQ uh, format because, um, again, when I when I look at the chart, it tells me how much recording time I have left. The uh, ProRes HQ and um, the DNX HD 220 both had the, it, it, the similar amount of time it, that it was going to allow me to record on my hard drive. So I'm assuming they are similar file sizes. I don't know about quality, but um, they're shooting in a uh, similar um, file size. Um, I had not been using the ProRes HQ recently. I used it initially, and the file sizes were really large. So I stepped down to uh, ProRes 422. which really made most sense to me because that's what I'm sending out of my uh, uh, can or can Vixia HFG50 is a pro is a 10-bit uh, 422 signal so um, I'm assuming that would classify that under ProRes 422 and not ProRes HQ again if you know uh, about that and you can uh, give me some information that'd be great is a 10-bit 422 is that compatible with ProRes HQ or am I up trying to upscale my footage at that point and I need to stick with the ProRes 422 on the uh, Atomos Ninja Flame that's just a question that I've got I can f probably find the answer myself but if anyone's watching this video and they know I would appreciate an answer just drop it in the comment section below all right I'm going to stop this real quick and move to another section. I'm going to get one more. I'm going to get one more spot on this uh, this ProRes HQ. I, I think I think I'm going to step down to ProRes 422. All right. So here's that tree again. I had it in the shot earlier. See if I can zoom in. I 
think it was I think it was close to that like that all right and I could be wrong let me see yeah okay yeah all right, it's exactly the same I wasn't zoomed in quite quite enough when I zoom out a little bit I get obviously I get a little more color information in the uh, waveform when I zoom in a little bit more it then resembles what I remember seeing from the the, the prior uh, waveform on this tree trunk here on the right side of the frame uh, it's it's showing me it's it's there's detail there in the shadows so I should be able to pull detail out of that tree um, anyway uh, I probably need to format this monitor uh, properly uh, I haven't done that so um, some adjustments I can make to make sure that what I'm seeing is actually uh, you know uh, you know it's a, it's a standard uniform uh, representation and it's not set for the person who I bought this from for their view and experience anyway uh, let me cut this and come back to um, another spot in my yard. Alright guys, um, I'm out in my front yard here. I am now recording in DNX HD 220X. Again, uh, not to sound uh, like a, I'm ignorant or I'm a noob, but in regards to the Atomos Ninja Flame, and certainly with DNX HD, I am a noob. So I'm not, I don't know what the 20, 220X, what the X means. Um, so, uh, I'll be doing some research in that. I just, it was a, uh, uh, the code, the, the second codec that the uh, Ninja Flame records on other than ProRes. And I just, I'm trying it out to see what it, you know, what it does. What quality I can expect. getting good exposure right now in fact it says I'm a little dark let me see if I can lighten that up a little bit there we go I'm going to cut this and go back to regular ProRes 422. Alright guys, ProRes 422. I am recording on the uh, Atomos Ninja Flame. Out of the uh, Canon Vixia HFG50, I'm on uh, the other side of my yard. This is the west end. The sun is setting uh, just just above me, right above me there. Not 
the setting, but I mean, that's where it's at. It's right there, peeking out of the trees, is where the sun presently is. And they're off. So, I'm just going to pan around real quick and then I'm going to take it in, in inside. Again, I'm shooting at ProRes 422 on a 10-bit uh, uh, 422 feed out of my... Um, Canon Vixia HFG50. I'm on a tripod, just doing simple pans. I'm recording on both the G50 and the Atomos Ninja Flame. go around one more time with my uh, ND filter turned on try to limit some of the uh, overexposure About 6.30, Sunday night, Central Time. Got about 45 minutes to an hour left of sunlight. So I'm just trying to get a little bit of comparable footage so I can see um, the uh, quality of the uh, ProRes 422 footage on the Atomos Ninja Flame compared to the footage captured inside the uh, Canon Vixia HFG50. All right, let's cut it.